Recording in progress. Hello, 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 hello. Hi. Hello, hello, hi. Hello, hi. 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 You in bed? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Know them. Know them. Know them. It sounded like it. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, do you? I don't have to do it if you feel shit. No. No. Power on, 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 power on. I don't think I was quite over this cold and then I got really cold last night for the first time I hadn't been cold in ages Professional, yeah. just because I'm in Wales oh you're in Wales yeah whereabouts Swansea do you want to see Swansea city centre I've been I did a get one of my tour dates in Swansea um do you want to see, do you want to see Swansea city I stayed in a terrible Airbnb <laughs> <laughs> yeah go on it stayed good at night I think the, I stayed what, in one in Dundee, right? It was so bad. I, I was never told you this. Well, probably am. It's not that interesting. I um, I phoned up. I was, I was doing a gig in, like, I was doing three gigs in Scotland. And I phoned this guy up and I said, it was a really cheap hotel. And I said, um, could I get a room, please? And he went, yep, yeah, okay, thanks, bye. And I went, hold on, no, I'm giving you the day. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he went, he went, um, I said, uh, I need it for the 14th or whatever. And he went, okay, yep, yeah, great, cheers, bye. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I went, no, 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 wait, I'm giving you my name. And he went, okay, what's your name? I said, it's uh, Joe Wilkinson for the 14th. He went, okay, great, yep, yeah, thanks, bye. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm going to fucking, no, it's Dundee, yeah, did I say Dundee? Why don't we yeah. ring him up now? <laughs> See if they do the same thing. <laughs> I'd love to do that. There's no way they're still trading. So I was like, that was really weird. So I phoned up like two days before and I said, um, I said, uh, hi, I'm just checking you've got my booking for the 14th. I said, he said, yeah, I've got your booking. I said, I haven't said my name. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what's your name? I said, it's Joe Wilkinson. He said, yeah, I've got your booking. <laughs> for some reason, I still fucking went. And I did the gig, and I got to the gig about. I got to the hotel about eleven. And I said, "Hi, I've got a room, but she said, well, what's your name?" I said, "Joe Wilkins." Says, "No, we're full, mate." Really? And uh, yeah, it was unbelievable. I was. It was like eleven, eleven thirty at night in Dundee on like a Monday. And, what did uh, you do? Well, he goes, "Well, I've got one place I can put you up in," and he took me to this flat. Like it was. I can't remember if it was attached to where we were but we sort of walked around this corner and went to this like, this really dodgy road well it's back alley and went through this like you know you see doors at the back of restaurants and stuff and then mm. you go don't well that's for the bins or whatever went through one of those right to the top of this thing and he just put me in this flat that had nothing in it and it had a bed and it just what were you doing out there a gig I was doing a gig it was like a, right. at this university and um I remember that he basically it was a, a, a sort of quite a 
big flat that just had it was just like you know if you were buying it you'd go this whole place needs to be ripped out and mm. if you were buying it to live in it was just so disgusting and uh, there was this scouse guy in there who was um he was just really excited to see me he'd obviously been living there because he was like a, a builder from liverpool who was just working in dundee and living in this dreadful flat he wouldn't leave me alone he but was you kept to share me. it with him well i was in a yeah it was a flat i was like doing a flat share with him that night oh my god and uh so i obviously went straight to bed and he sort of knocked on the window he was like, uh, knocked on the door and went hello mate and i said yeah what can i do <laughs> He goes, oh, just um, I just wanted to show you the view. And he, came, I'll never forget it. He came into my room. When was this at night? <laughs> yeah, it's eleven, twelve at night. <laughs> he came, he came into my room, and he opened. You know, I'll never forget it. He opened the um, uh, Felix window, and he stuck his head out of it, and he just talked to me for about ten minutes about the view. I couldn't see his head. <laughs> <laughs> it was just his sort of body to three quarter length, and then him just going, <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Look at that. It was like, there's a really shit view. Yeah. And uh, and he was just going, Look at that, it's beautiful. And it's all, it's things like that make it all worthwhile, doesn't it? And I was like, um, Yeah, I guess so. And then <laughs> I, said, um, I said, I've really got to go to sleep, mate. So he goes, Okay, yeah, but 10 minutes later. And what, no. Oh, oh, yeah, God. knocked on the door again. I said, "What? What?" He goes, um, "I just wondered if, wondered if you wanted to play a game of cards." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "No, no I don't." What um, a midnight. Got... Yeah, it was. Oh, really I'd weird. find that really weird if that. Was it that was really fucking weird. I um, yeah, I put. I don't like that. I, I, no, what do you mean? I don't like. No one likes that. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not... <laughs> you're not telling me how you were feeling. I was like, I'd be freak freaking out now. I was freaking out. Right. No, that's that's not an insight. <laughs> Everyone would have been. <laughs> well, I freaking. want to know. <laughs> I was I was distressed at this point. <laughs> no, but I'd be worried <laughs> now. Look, this well, I, I wasn't worried. He wasn't very big. Right. Like he wasn't like an imposing man, and he was just sort of. He, uh, there was a sort of an element of sadness about him. He was obviously just away from home and just wanted some kind of interaction. I remember Crap. that point. I. St- <laughs> <laughs> I still opened the door. I said, "Oh no, no, thank. Um, I don't want to go with cards." And then knocked on the door again about ten minutes later. What? This time I didn't open the door, and I've never done this. I've never ever talked through a door to someone. It's just something you don't do. So he knocks on the door. This and is I go, incredible <laughs> anecdote, considering we've done two hundred and fifty apps. It's like you've written it this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I hold a lot. I'm holding a lot of back, lot back for like three hundred to three hundred. Go on. <laughs> so I, I'm talking through the door to him, and he's like, "Oh, I've got a guitar." I I've got my... don't, I'm not sure I believe the time or any of this now. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd done a gig at Dundee University. So what time would I have finished? Because Naz... I think... No, I opened, so maybe... I don't know. What time would you have done that? At the earliest, it's like 10, 30, 11. At the earliest. Fucking hell. I would have hated that. Yeah, so he's talking... No, so Amazed you're not, not talk- talking more about how much you hate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a long time ago now. <laughs> so he's knocking on the door, and I'm 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 only re- realising this now. Obviously, I'm talking through the door to him, going, "No, I don't want to see your guitar, thank you." But who's? When did you get to a moment where you're? And then I, I remember I put all my stuff against the door because there's no lock on the door. Oh, you were a bit worried then. Yeah, I just didn't want him to come in. So what do you I mean all your st- stuff. Like my bag, and I think I moved the bed in front of it. What, thinking he's going to come in? Well, he'd knocked on the door three or four times and hadn't taken the hint. And uh, and the bed was so disgusting, I, I I stayed in my clothes and lay on top of my clothes, basically. And um, and that was the whole... Yeah, that was probably the worst one I've stayed in. Well, it's definitely the worst one I've stayed in. Oh, oh, do you want to see Swampy Town Centre? Yeah, go on. They, I did a gig at, um, it was a cinema. A cinema? Yeah, and cinema. all the seats were like sofas, like beds. Like I think I've told you. 
So I came on stage and literally everyone's just lying down. (laughs) You've got no chance, have you? (laughs) No. You've got absolutely no chance. They're 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 too relaxed. I did. Do you ever do the Coventry Cinema one? No. Uh, No. No. Dreadful. That was dreadful. God, yeah, it's weird. I've done a few cinemas. Yeah, it's a terrible idea. Yeah. Okay. God, look how quiet it is. Oh yeah, not not a lot going on here. Do you want to look at look at that hot tub. <laughs> it's really grim. <laughs> Why would you have a hot tub in Swansea city centre? Also, at what point in the career do do you know things look a little bit nicer? <laughs> yeah, I don't think ever. If I'm honest, ever. <laughs> don't know. But I don't think hotels generally are that nice. I but told you I stayed in one. Um, Google it, everyone. Hotel or something. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, everything off. is just <laughs> dedicated to toads. And the lady's like 85. <laughs> and she's obsessed with toads. I, I think it was go. toad. It was. Yeah. I <laughs> think it was toad. <laughs> Like oh. toad litter bin, toad, toad everything. <laughs> I love the idea you look at it and it's an antelope. <laughs> it's really oh, weird because when you're on tour, you're lonely. Yeah. You're missing your family. Yeah. And you're like, fucking hell, I'm in some of my old toad woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the mood for this. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, uh, please have a look. <laughs> I also, yeah, because if you were with Naomi, you'd be giggling and stuff and mm. laughing at the. Oh, have I muted? You're just, dis- you're just disturbed. Yeah, you just go and fuck. Yeah, it's fine. Do. <laughs> do you remember the? Um, do you, do you remember this might ruin Gary Neville coming on? But <laughs> <Toby>. Bimby. <laughs> and <laughs> but, <laughs> is a massive ugly toad. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Toad. Madame Toad. Probably one of the quirkiest B&B establishments <laughs> in, not in the UK. <laughs> Only in... <laughs> Who stays at the Toad? <laughs> People from all walks of life choose to stay at the Toad. I thought you were going to say someone famous. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Different yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> Visitors to such establishments as the BRI Children's Hospital and University. Tourists coming. <laughs> people visiting friends or family. Contractors. <laughs> that was that was the Dundee one. Contractors. That's yeah. what that was. For. Contractors. People passing through. <laughs> it's. Ma- been run personally by Madame Toad for more than 25 years. She's not, where did you do this? Is she still going? She was 85 yeah. when you... Honestly, it's it's great, it, but it's a little bit... <laughs> do you, There's do you ever so remember, much Toad stuff. Do you remember the early Fools and Horses episode, the Jolly Boys down to Margate, Jolly Boys out in one, and they stay in a really creepy B&B. I was... Um, uh, not B&B. Yeah, B&B, yeah. I always think of that... So Honestly, uh, really you've got unwelcome. to have a look. If you've got your laptop there. <laughs> she's great, <laughs> but, you know, she likes toads, so... There's a fucking flying toad in the Fuck me. breakfast room. <laughs> oh, my God, you can get it on Airbnb. It's £57 a night. That's not bad. To- Shit. It's all green. That's, that's the room I stayed in with the green towels, green seats, green... Oh, right, OK. I'm not being out of order here, but if you go to an Airbnb, <laughs> one of the pictures is her. Why would you have a picture of her? <laughs> that's fucking weird. <laughs> right, I'm not being funny. Why would you have a... <laughs> I've got to send you it. That's fucking weird. It's fucking hell. Should we be saying this? It's going out to... She's going to get stuff off the back of it. You can slag it off. Yeah, probably people go, ribbit, ribbit. (laughs) Yeah, people do that. Yeah, don't do ribbit jokes. No. Look, have you seen the link I sent you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where I stayed. That that (laughs) room bottom right was my room. Jesus wept. I was so lonely. (laughs) 
<laughs> so it really is. <laughs> that, that does, honestly, that doesn't do it justice. There's hardly any toads in those pictures. Well, maybe there are fucking to- Look, there's a toad clock. There's a toad. I don't know. Do you remember the football? I was going to say about Gary Never. Do you remember the football hotel we stayed in? That was a massive overload of football, wasn't it? And I love football. But do you remember, like, yeah, the soap, what by the, Man United? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember, like, the burger was like the Phil Neville double <laughs> burger and stuff? <laughs> yeah. and, Does and Gary remember, Neville own that? I think Gary Neville butt gigs and whatever. Mm. But then it, it was like everything. It was like, the soap had. Remember, the soap had a. Ryan Giggs' his number in the soap and everything it was just it was just too much it was, I was really f- and everyone in the restaurant was wearing football tops I don't know I don't know why I found that a little bit can I tell much. you what happened last night no <laughs> I um, we, we had a, there was a screening for Brian Charles and Totnes Cinema oh it's, uh, weirdly uh, someone put that on Twitter yes and go? um so it's such a gorgeous venue, blah blah blah. It's really lovely. How far is Totnes from you? Like ten, seven, eight, nine minutes, ten minutes. Oh, brilliant! Oh, the perfect, perfect job. Oh, amazing! No, me, we had a lot night out, and um, so watched it. Had to do a Q and A afterwards. Oh yeah. Like I could talk about all that shit for forever. What well, like, now or on there? Well, on here, I could tell you, right. you know, how it makes yeah. you feel. Yeah, of course, I want to know that. So, quite a few people afterwards chatting, being really nice, taking selfies, autograph, somewhat, just really, so, sort of that. Mm, the guy walking by going, hey, movie star. Hey, hey, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm really liking this. I feel why, I feel cozy. So, I went out into the reception, bloke went, look at this, look at this. And it was him dressed as um, Kev. So this is me on my... Uh, oh, so right, fucking yeah. hell, it looked like me. Anyways, so... Kev yeah, from f- Derek. Kev from yeah, Kev from Derek. Sorry, from, yeah. From, Sorry, yeah. And I had a photo. And then this young guy, filmmaker, came out. Just so... So lovely with his, you know, comments about the film. Oh, so I leave going, hey, I'm a movie star. <laughs> I mean, Naomi went, do they realise what a dick you are or not? As soon as we exit the... Here's his flaws. <laughs> no, but... So I leave, go, I kept saying to Naomi, oh, the movie star's tired, the movie star wants to go home. <laughs> I imagine you were irritated. <laughs> yeah. So, we get in the car. That breaks down. <laughs> we drive to, f- through the through the town... Late at night, like Late. movie stars do. Yeah, just I felt like a movie star. <laughs> they wanted they wanted answers out of me for twenty minutes after the film. And they I wanted to, to know you. my process. <laughs> they wanted to know what I thought of everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, I love the idea and you dash it off film into the <laughs> speak for itself. Do you know what? That's a great question, Mark. <laughs> Is it Mark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we drove back. Shree drove back. Me feeling like a movie star. <laughs> Blue lights. No. Oh fuck. What? Got What's too this? big for your boots. I imagine you doing ninety around the lanes. I, of... I was probably doing forty <laughs> through town. Feeling like a movie star on two wheels. <laughs> 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 yeah, hand breaking it around the top mess. <laughs> so I was like, fucking hell, I've had a cider. I've had a cider. It's all right, Nick, have a cider? I've had a cider. Fuck it, You've I've had, had a one cider. cider. Yeah. One cider. One cider's yeah, all right. Yeah, okay, but I don't know because I don't drink. I was like, fucking hell, I've had a cider. <laughs> Blue lights. You're I'm hardly s- big time, are you? <laughs> he pulled up beside me. Pull over in the next lane, please, sir. Oh, God almighty. I go round, three of the blokes that dressed as Kev were walking up. No. I was like, oh, no, I'm a movie star. <laughs> I was a movie star. I, put, I went like that. <laughs> you hid down. <laughs> I hid down and turned my head to the left way more than I should have. And I dro- when that guy said, the police have said, uh, pull over in there, he thought I was just going to pull up. I, pull, I drove about 250 yards down the lane. Oh, that would have annoyed him. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> From hero to zero. <laughs> hey, still a movie star. Sean yeah. Connery gets pulled over, mate. 
What happened? Yeah. Well, I said, oh, sorry, what's this for, officer? <laughs> Suddenly very diligent person. <laughs> I've, I dot the I's and yeah. cross the T's. What yeah. possibly could this be? Uh, your back brake lock's not working and you were doing 40 through a 30. <laughs> Was I? <laughs> Yes, you were. We struggled to keep <laughs> up with you through Tom's <laughs> high street. Your car's <laughs> fucking rubbish, then. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't do 40, yeah. are you in a, what car are you in? <laughs> fucking pedal car. <laughs> what do you mean? Him. No, I was doing 40 through 30. Down through yeah, but how's he struggling to keep up oh. with you? <laughs> <laughs> Like the Flintstones. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We struggle. I've got one of these toys. I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, anyway, he said, uh, let me see your um, driving licence. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm so pathetic. Oh, yeah. Which I was like, oh, there I you go, mate. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I know I am as well. Don't worry. It's fine. It's normal. Yeah, he took it out. <coughs> uh, where's Hartfield? <laughs> uh, oh, I used to live there. Sorry, it's... Uh, Right, you know this is a thousand pound fine for having an old. Is it? Is it? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to do that. I'm not interested in all that. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is an episode of The Bill. <laughs> no, Heartbeat. This is an episode of Heartbeat. <laughs> I mean, I'm struggling to find dramatic beats in the story. Have, yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm wondering how we get out of this. <laughs> I'm going to let you hang on this. <laughs> okay, I'll try and find an end. <laughs> this would be amazing if you do. Because <laughs> I know you've got nothing else. <laughs> but to be honest, the punchline was the three blokes coming up the road. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get enough. <laughs> Shit. I'll keep talking, so he pulls me over. Shit. <laughs> I've got pulled over <clears throat> home once and... Uh, a, a guy, the policeman comes up and he goes, uh, "How? How? I was like, I was in like a fifty or something. How fast do you think you're going?" I said, "Oh, about 50. He went, mm, "I think it was a little bit faster than that, wasn't it?" And I was like, oh, "I didn't really say anything." And then um, he uh, he got out his, you know, the gun, the not the gun, the speed gun thing, and uh, he showed me the gun and he said, "What does that say on there?" I said, it doesn't say anything. And he said, that's because you're a very lucky boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you had a super little punchline. <laughs> I was a super little punchline. <laughs> <laughs> and these stories are all about super little punchlines. <laughs> or if you're not sure, just keep talking. <laughs> Yeah, but you, to be fair, you are. He said, "Well, what happened then?" You asked me. I was going to stop it. <laughs> no, no, no. Just don't, don't. Oh my god, this just made me laugh. This is. I, I know. I was in. I was enthralled, genuinely, and I suddenly thought, "Oh, I doubt there's any more to this." No, there wasn't any more. <laughs> no. Did you? Uh, did you feel like a movie star afterwards, or was it a big bump um, down to a? I didn't feel like a movie star for any of it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Only when you were doing 40 <laughs> through Top Ness. Yeah. God, I, we had a moment driving home where we approached this roundabout and I just went, where am I? Where are we? Where am I? Went, it's all right. It's right. <laughs> like we what was that about? Minutes. Don't know. I just didn't know where we were. It's just three minutes from home. I've done this. I just had a blank. Where are we? Where, where, what is this? <laughs> had you been driving on autopilot? You know that thing? I guess so. You, I guess so. Yeah. I hate that. Oh, it's scary. <laughs> Not that scary. Oh, literally, our boys' school was there. We're there. <laughs> So it's right, right David, and it's <laughs> yeah. not scary. <laughs> God, that is scary, though. Fucking hell. Um, I went to Totnes when we lived in... Um, oh, did you? When we lived in Cornwall for those three months. And I remember thinking... Because we'd lived in this tiny village for ages. I remember Totnes feeling, like, almost doing my head in a bit. Feeling it buzzy. Was, yeah. I was like, oh, because there's, like, shops like, I don't know, TK Maxx or whatever. No, there fucking isn't, mate. Or, or whatever the shop they're, was. No, they're dead against all that. It's all independent stores. Okay. Well, there was stuff. There are not stores like <laughs> TK Maxx in Totnes. Thank you. Wow. Who, 
who thought that would be a red flag? Um, but yeah, I, me- I, mem- I remember it being like a proper town. And I uh, I'm not sure where you went, whether you went to Totnes then. Okay, let's have a look where I went. I'm sure. What's the, what, what's the big? Is there a big town in? There's what's Newton it? Abbott, there's Exeter, Plymouth. No, it's further down. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong place. Oh no, I'm thinking of Truro, sorry. Fucking stroll on. <laughs> sorry. Right, here's a question I thought was a cracking question. I don't want to answer it then. Oh, I went to Truro, yeah. No, Truro's a big town. Oh, there's a few chatter biscuits there last night. Oh, Shout out there? to the Talky chatter biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> crunch, crunch. Um, Did you get a crunch, crunch? Did you get a crunch, crunch? Didn't get a crunch, crunch. Um, but absolutely chatter biscuits through and through. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's a quick question. Is, is Vivian coming on? Well, I've emailed him. Okay. But well, he's meant to be here... Uh, Five minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, I, I, weird question, but why don't we have Vivian's number on the off-chart? Like, have you have his number? Phone number? Yeah. No. So we can number. text him now. Like, it's always weird, like... We've yeah, known well, him for, like, over a year. Here's a question for you, and I thought a great question. You've only got three seconds to answer. Oh, God. You've literally got a gun to your head. Okay. Uh, you've got unlimited money. Where do you move to? Uh, 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 oh, God. Uh, Cornwall. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> oh. Do you know what? I went... I went, so I went, I nearly said New York, but I don't want to live there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you fancy, though. No, but, because I, I, I told you I've been watching those videos of where they show people around their apartments in New York, and there's some cool places to live, but I'd be, I don't want to live there, but there was one for, like, 15 million that was, like, amazing. Cornwall. Like, yeah, because I don't need money now. Mm. So I could just be, um, like, a, 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 be a, I, could, I, could, I can buy a big old house on the beach, right? Whereabouts in Cornwall? Oh, probably Helst, the Helston Passage. Oh, uh, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah, they got some big old houses. Oh, God, yeah, we went for a walk down. We parked up at the car park. I don't know where we were on that river. Parked up, and we just found this little, is that a hamlet? I don't know. It was small. It's small amount of houses. Is it? Yes. Is it? So there were like eight at the end of the river. It was um, with a little bridge. It was unbelievable. Because the the, the 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 river's quite wide, isn't there? So there's like you can get boats across, but there's like the village is on two sides, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. And there's a pub right on the water. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's where you get the boat from, I think. Right. And we know someone who lived there, didn't we? Did she live there? Yeah, that's, that's that one. Yeah, she was. She was. Ah, oh, no. When when we filmed with her, she was staying there. Yeah, yeah. She. That's yeah, not where. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but um, she did. She was renting there. God, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Fucking hell! Toad woman has just appeared on my. Fuck <laughs> me! I really thought you were say on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> toad woman turns out toad woman is a chatter biscuit. Well. Um, it doesn't look like Vivian's coming on. No. Uh, so I try him again. Well, we've got we've only got five minutes of this Hello. episode. Hi, mate. Are you about? No worries if you're not. Can I get a phone number so I can text you now? Um. Oh. I'm sure there's something else to talk to you about. <coughs> oh, that thing I spoke to you about yesterday. On text. There's quite a few. Oh, God. What, the main one, you mean? Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why have I forgotten about that? That was a fucking... That was a great game, by the way. Can't talk about it, but... So, someone wrote... Uh, so I got tagged in 
something the other day that and um, someone just wrote uh, well it's just someone did uh, like they didn't like me and then there was like a big pile on of people agreeing <laughs> it's amazing when you hope <laughs> someone says I don't like it. and I was just like well you know that it I'm tagged in it so there's a good uh, weirdly and I'm not just saying this it was so different now I've sort of gone through I just had no effect on me like I used to I realised that I used to go even a tiny amount of me would go oh yeah so I forgot people hate me yeah oh yeah oh what weird. when you saw this thing on Twitter yeah I was no, yeah nothing I went oh yeah. what was that think, to do with just a show you've been on yeah and um I realised that it did used to make me go even a little bit go oh fuck and now I think because I've read because we've analysed enough of the people that write those things you go oh fucking who not my problem but I realised I used to sort of go <laughs> and they go oh fuck yeah yeah I've sort of gone through I think, I think it's ages where you go oh fuck I don't care it's the opposite of what you had in Totnes what last night yeah Oh, it's so weird oh, ask, being asked questions it's like I just want to be so clear with everyone and go <laughs> well, look, right I listen to a I listen to a podcast that you know I listen to and I feel like a lot of people on that podcast that talk about comedy kind of talk about it in a way that sounds baffling even if you've done it and it always makes me think, if you've not done it before, this would really scare you. you what comedians you know I mean? can we, I think you can say the podcast. Shout out to Stuart Goldsmith. Yeah, big fan. I love the podcast. But people talk about it in a way where I go, if I've not done it, I'd go, this sounds absolutely insurmountable. I don't think it's very, always very like, like no one's sort of saying, you don't, no one knows like you'll work it out it's all a bit like I don't know it sounds it sounds frightening like but like at, once you've done it you go well, I, don't even, I don't know what you're talking about that's not no. anyway this is petering off isn't it <laughs> <laughs> shout out to all the talky chatter biscuits <laughs> yeah <laughs> To, I saw on Twitter that someone had um, someone had put like they bumped into someone with a ch another Chatterbix skit T-shirt on at something. That was fucking good. You'd re you'd retweeted it, I think. Yeah. I, anyone who puts a picture of them, I always retweet it. I'm like, uh, you have bought a T-shirt and you're wearing yeah. it out. Well played. But, but do you see there was I think there was a man and a woman who bumped into each other yeah. at a festival. Lovely, lovely. That was that blew my mind. Lovely. Oh. oh. Thank you for buying the T-shirts, guys. At T yeah, we've got new designs coming, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Just and in time for Christmas. And I'll be... <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> there are some absolute belters in there. There's a little... I'll give you a little teaser. There's some phrases you might have heard on some of the T-shirts. Yeah. Um. Oh, Greg... Uh, Greg and Alex have both said they'll come on um, Canal Thursday. Oh, great. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, Alex is Barry. Yeah, and oh. Greg, is, Greg is Gary Tank Commander. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking <laughs> great. <laughs> oh. Just, uh, I've always wanted to talk to those guys in character. Oh, yeah. When Greg slipped into Gary... <laughs> Gary. Just for about one <laughs> second, I was like, oh, I want to hear more of that. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> fucking great. If you haven't seen Gary Tankamada, go on YouTube and eat. Oh, God, there's a thing that talks about cheesy pasta. It's so Put funny. Put it on now. Oh, I got Gary. Um, is this the same app? No, we're ending it. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>